Vask is here with the biggest and the most detailed airport that I ever created in City Skylines. So if you want to see more, please stay tuned because this is going to be a bit longer video than usual because there's so much stuff that I want to show you. It's a huge, huge place and we have cargo, we have the Metropolitan Airport from the latest DLC. Uh, let's begin from this side. This is the cargo area. You can see here we have two cargo train and we have two cargo airports so you can go in with your goods on the train and uh, leave it with the plane or vice versa so I really like what I did here it's looking really neat so let's take a look on the cargo strip here we have a couple of planes to detailed uh, we have more planes on this side some hangars to have more uh, details on our airport so let's take a look from the birds view and it's huge guys this airport build is really really big and let's take a look on the city you can see uh, two parts of my city these are the two parts you have the two episodes about that if you want to see so uh, I wanted to show you this in dark or at night because it's looking very very good and I am really satisfied we have a couple of entrances uh, we have one more here and one more here these are the in and outs for the highway system so let's go and check our uh, train station over here and let's take a look on our metropolitan air airport it's huge it's quite big and detailed so I added a lot of stuff to this build I took they took me almost seven days to create all of this to have it really really neat and detailed so we have a parking spots here we have uh, planes all over the place you can see that trains are moving along so it's very detailed and uh, it's very good done because everything has its purpose we have another view on the airport over here I think the night uh, shot is very very nice and we have two towers a big one here and a smaller one for the cargo planes and now Let's take a look on the port, which is connected with the train station, of course. And uh, let's take a look. Uh, let's zoom out a bit. This is the connection all over the place. So we have a really, really good connection with trains. I think I have five or six uh, stations. I will show you everything. Here we have some DHL uh, station, of course, where you can uh, take your goods, of course. I wanted to create something unique here there's a lot of trucks uh, we have a couple of uh, hangars over here for the planes but they're not in use of course and you can see the neat I done here uh, trains are moving along so I really like the shot on the dark and let's go here this is the FedEx area here uh, you this is probably not the part of the airport but I wanted to have a uh, bigger warehouses uh, to have more and more stuff added to my airport these are the factories on this side and you can see it's fitting in because you have your uh, really good cargo area and of course factories will use that area and they will ship their goods really really easily that's why I have such a good traffic over here there's no uh, big problems uh, I have a lot of factories and it's very very detailed this is the look on the metropolitan area metropolitan airport sorry and here we have some uh, factories and I ha I believe that this is the post office the big one so an another train station another one here and uh, I have another one here and the two in the beginning that I showed you so quite a lot uh, of cargo moving along here so uh, I let's go and see the airport again because this is looking really really good it's very detailed <laughs> I can say again I spent a lot of time on this and uh, le if you see that tree I'm not possible I'm not possibly sure what happened but I can't remove it so <laughs> it's a part of the airport and the part of this video <laughs> but yeah we have planes model planes all over the place I fenced every single thing I see two problems there that I need to correct of course here is the train station for the cargo 
it's connected of course with everything else i mean this bird view is quite astonishing i really really like it i should do more videos like this so the plane is taking off and let's take a look again on these parts here because we have connection to the to our highway system i have four connections to my highway system in and out and that's why i don't have a big problem with uh, my traffic so let's speed things up a little bit this is the small oil industry here that i have it's really essential and uh, yeah i will let you enjoy the the view If you see these props, everything here is placed by me. Uh, every single light, every single plane. I moved all the trees to have a good, good tree line because it was really odd to not fill it. So you can see the trains are moving really nice. Let's go and go back on the beginning and see the more detailed on the cargo planes. I have a couple of buildings on this part. To be a part to have my place or the airport more filled and i have a lot of fire station maybe you noticed i think i have five or six of them all over the place and uh, yeah looking very very good and i can say that this is the part one of the airport build because i have a lot of ideas to create it more detailed so let's go and uh, switch on the daylight I want to show you on daylight as well as I said this is the first part I believe that I will record another one because I have a lot of ideas to fill this even more and let's uh, see again on the daylight again you can see there is a lot of details uh, the night shot was very impressive because of the lights of course uh, and the, the day shot is not worse you can s see probably more details that I have so everything is nicely fenced everything is secured uh, I try to create my connections on the trains to look really good not to have them all over the place so here we have a small a road system that is connected to a tunnel to a city and uh, people can go in and out of course let's see the birds view again yeah really really good you can see the train uh, system here it's really close to the airport but we have a fence nobody can g go in or out <laughs> and the trains are connected with two uh, uh, tubes here to the cities on both parts so they can choose where they want to go again I really satisfied with uh, the railroad and let's see this part here and I have this part on the right it's really empty and probably in the second part I will create something to fill that area because it's really really empty and uh, the problem I have with the traffic it's not uh, the biggest one because I have a lot of warehouses that need to be filled uh, so yeah again in the second episode I will do much much more details but I'm really satisfied how this uh, is now this is why I decided to show you the first part and on the second part uh, I'm planning to expand this to be a bit bigger than now uh, I don't know how yet, but uh, I'm going to create something definitely because this is really, really good so far. And there's a lot of, lot of planes. Uh, these are all, all props that I placed all over the airport to look a bit realistic, to not look empty, of course. And again, more detailing on my build here with uh, DHL with FedEx stuff I'm probably sounding a little bit boring but I, I'm really satisfied how I created this and of course if you have any 
a suggestion how to improve this or to change some stuff on this build please leave a comment if you don't like you can dislike the video of course if you like this uh, you can press the subscribe or the like the video so this is the these are the factories here and these are the warehouses on this side it's for me it's looking better to have them not to have them because it's filling the place a uh, bit more and let's see the traffic it's 79 percent but most of the problems are in the city but here maybe two or three streets and let's see the transport we have uh, connections with our city with metro uh, we have two lines the green one and the red one uh, the red one is connected on the city on the right and the green one on the other city every single station is included so we have a lot of passengers and I have three stations another one here is for the factories and the two one two stations are for the airport of course because I have a couple of factories here people can move in and out uh, with metro there is no need to go with cars so that's why I have uh, really good traffic over here only problem is causing my warehouses you can see probably here that need to be filled so again let's take a look on this part <laughs> I, I'm really really happy about that uh, let's take a look on more detailing again I saw that I need to fix it I don't know what happened but I will definitely correct that but the tree I can't because for some reason I can't delete it I'm not really sure why but <laughs> yeah it's a bug and for the end of this video I can say that I'm really satisfied about the, my creation but I want to hear your opinion do you like it if you like it uh, please leave a comment what is the best thing about this airport and what is the worst thing about this airport what will you change and of course I will listen and try to make the corrections on this build so if you like the video leave a like subscribe and see you on the next one